Onivia, League of Legends highlights. Onivia's team fights start, but yeah. fighter heavy. I'm gonna say feels pretty early mid game heavy as well, but that worked yeah. well in front of these in game two. Yeah, and actually neither team has extremely strong initiation across the board. It's a lot of just generic power. We're gonna go over to 100 Thieves. It is the cost of doing business when the global call out for Rift Herald comes out, but C9 is hanging around. You can evict the jungler. If you get him, it's yours. Smite comes in. Well done by Closer. First drink. They get the blue buff steals wagon yeah. out. Uh, yeah. He's gonna get his own chain. Good flash. Whoa. Jensen's gonna get away from all of it. Root is gonna be up though. Does Fudge have the damage? Because these got teammates as well. Blue buff handed off to Jensen TY for leash. Go, so goes their victories. I'd be willing to bet in games where Blabber gets more crabs than the other jungle, he never loses. Never. I believe it. At it's least close. it's above 50 50. <laughs> right? It's gotta be pretty high. Going for the play. Stunned in the wall. Big damage out of Fudge. And he's got Jensen. Hey, someday! No! Knock! The duo is here! Knocks him down again. Triforce like attack speed. It's just very valuable. Move speed. Very valuable. You can chase people down. If you're winning, Triforce is the better win more item. And a lot of games were. And I think this is 100 Thieves just kind of. Flipping the game a little bit here, saying yeah. nothing's going in our favor. We're going to all in on this Rift Herald. If I step up, the turret dies in two autos, and then I die too. Keep in mind, Mythic diff in the top lane means there's nothing to this coming in eventually. And if someone plays your base stats, then everyone has like 60 average armor MR or more uh, by mid game, so it looks pretty good. Abadaga going to be rooted. A tackle to get rid of Closer. Hunter Thieves can't find their way in yet, but here comes the big play. Across goes Closer. They try to get one. Blabber drops FBI, but oh. can he live? Just barely, so far, a one for nothing. Health bar's low. Someday, with the help of Huhi, knocks one as well, gets the knockup, flash bubble, forces away, and off a 5,000 gold deficit. So the gold league gets brought back a little bit. It's still dire straits. It drops down, only 4,000. Cooldown. Jens is still waiting for his window towards one-shotting somebody. Closer again, wants to jump the wall, so they're gonna build some frontline space. 3k health, they gotta go for it soon if there's a fight fight. Zoned out by the Zeri, still wants to play for the team fight itself. Jumps over, Jensen now spotted, gonna go for the burn. Will it happen? Eviction! The spike gonna come in! Two to one on the one side. Does Cloud Knight get the team fight? Now is the question. Fudge, dodge away from the bubble, tackle onto Huhi, and he goes down. Jensen finds his man, and the chase Fudge. in for more. Gonna go for the chain. That'll catch almost, but not quite. Plus the dragon, plus a kill. Cloud9 come back. Massive win there by Cloud9. Jensen playing the edge of that fight the entire time. And just such a good eviction by Poppy. Like you said, make sure they get that. And then a wall stun right after. 9k on this one. And it's going to be a burn down. As the recalls come across, health bar is low. FBI can be healed, but can't team fight all that strongly. And there is no jungler. There is no smite. It is a guarantee. And Aaron Force, after they saw the Nami, is what started that play. Blabber, we talked about how he was feeling a little itchy on the trigger finger. And that's ultimately what got them the Baron, despite the no kill. Game. But statistically, C9 is just way ahead. We'll see if they close it out, because Baron is still on. Reveler and Power Play, 2,400 to their lead. They lost the Drake, they got a Root on Stun, a knockup on a Blabber, like that. and they'll get the first kill. A huge play as Blabber takes an unsafe route through the enemy jungle and is punished for it. Just feeling confident, feeling... The spike is not as big as it might look, though still pretty good on the Cloud9 side. Turret taking the shots, and at this point, you can see under these running away. Try not to press our challenge. Possible yeah. for Blabber. <laughs> okay, time is going to get tight now, though, because the dragon is coming up very soon. And oh, he's going to find the oh! tackle. He found the way in. Goodbye to Huhi. A pushback out of two. Fudge ensures they get the rest. And resting in peace is what happens now to 100 Thieves. They're going to get everybody some they left alone. Four in a row in Abadaga can run back to his inhibitor. And guess what? A charm buys time, but Berserker claims it in the end. Cloud9 in complete control. The Bud Light Ace here in game three. They will knock down the inhibitor and the turrets and find a 31 minute victory. A game away from the spot in the finals. Cloud9 with the cleanest win thus far this series. They grabbed control early. They never let it go. It took a little bit of time, but they had such a commanding lead. And finally in that fight, they find.